Okay, um, how are we going to pronounce these words? And how are we going to remember how to pronounce them? Let's have a look. This video was suggested by Beatles Forever. What a cool name. And like you and many other students, this student has had her mind blown by so many crazy silent letters and so many O-U-G-H words in English. And it's normal, you're reading English, you're learning words, you're learning words from a book, and you see them written like this, using this O-U-G-H combination of letters, and you have no idea how to pronounce them. That's quite frustrating, very annoying, but you don't really have time to go on the internet and find out how it's pronounced. So you try to remember the word and just guess how it's pronounced. And then when you use it in conversation, nobody understands you. Now, in this video, I'm going to teach you first how to pronounce these words. Also, a few phonetic symbols. Phonetics is super important if you want to learn the correct pronunciation of words in English. And also, a few techniques that we can use to remember how these words are pronounced. Because it is confusing when you have words like this that are all pronounced with a different vowel sound in the middle. So first, how do we pronounce these words? Well, let's have a quick look. This one is pronounced though. It includes the vowel sound in the middle, o. Oh. And if you look at the phonetics, we have two sounds here, v and o. Oh. I call this vowel sound the bad news sound because it's the sound you make when you receive some bad news. Oh. Sometimes followed by the word no. Oh no. And good news, if we put A-L before the word, the pronunciation doesn't change. Although. Although. However, just focus on the first sound of although. This phonetic symbol is what I call the cute sound because it's the sound you make if you see a cute little cat or dog or baby. Oh, oh, although. Right, we need that cute sound in the next word. So say it again. Oh, oh. That is the sound in the middle of this word, thought, thought. Again, we have three sounds here, th, or, t, thought. So you're starting to see that the GH is always silent in these horrible words. Okay, what about this word? This is pronounced through, through. So again, just three sounds, through, through. And the vowel sound in this word is what I call the lipstick sound because if you are putting on lipstick, which I personally don't, but we need the shape of your mouth to be what I imagine the shape of your mouth is like when you are putting on lipstick. Ooh, through. And again, more good news. If we put out at the end of this word, it's the same pronunciation throughout, throughout. The last of these crazy words is this, and in British English, it's different in American English, but in British English, the O-U-G-H is pronounced using the schwa sound, which is uh, uh. Yes, all those letters just for this sound, uh. So the pronunciation of this is thorough, thorough, th or uh, thorough. Now, what I've told you, you can find in an online dictionary. If you search for a word in most online dictionaries, you have the option of hearing the word or reading the phonetic transcription so you know the sounds that the word uses. But one difficult aspect of these words is actually remembering which sound we need for which word. Right, so here's the trick I want to teach you in today's lesson. The best way I recommend you learn and remember the pronunciation of these words is to create very short sentences, including different words that have the same sound. 
So I'm going to give you some examples of my own using the words we've looked at today. And at the end of this video, I want you to leave your examples in a comment below. So for the word though, which uses the bad news sound, oh, we could create a sentence like this. Although Joe lives on the coast, he doesn't own a boat. Oh, 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 oh. Although Joe lives on the coast, he doesn't own a boat. So the sentence includes a few other more basic words, which you know have this O sound, which helps you remember that although uses the same O as coast, own, and boat. Okay, with the word thought, this has the cute sound, or thought. You could say, I bought some chalk and thought of your daughter. I bought some chalk and thought of your daughter. Or instead of chalk, which uses that sound, you could say teddy bear, something that is cute, which reminds you to use the cute sound in bought and also daughter. So through uses the lipstick sound, ooh, through, I threw a shoe through the window. I threw a shoe through the window. And yes, through and through are pronounced exactly the same way. Look at the phonetics. Th ooh, through and th ooh, through. Throughout, you know, is the same as through. That's easy. And for thorough, you could make a sentence with a few other words which end in the schwa sound. My teacher from Yorkshire gave a thorough explanation. Or another one could be my thorough mother comes from Peterborough. There's no right answer. It doesn't even have to be grammatically correct. Just a little sentence that helps you remember how to pronounce words. I have used this technique myself when learning French and Spanish. You learn a word, you check out the phonetics, you make a sentence, and it's easy to remember. And never again will you have to be frustrated and annoyed by crazy spellings like this in English. So leave me a comment with one of your sentences to help you remember how to pronounce these words, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.